earlier. I know I'm on early. I've jumped on a little bit earlier than normal. Um, but I'm going to do my usual Saturday crafting with you. So I've got a couple of stamp sets out this morning. Now, if this is the first time you've watched me, my name is Donna Gray. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. Now, Stamping Up is actually a company that we sell all things for your crafting needs. So right at this very moment, when you're in your home and we're sheltering in our homes and not being able to get out and get about crafting is something that is keeping me sane so i'm hoping that i can bring you some crafting and keep you sane as well so when you jump on please jump on say hello let me know where you're watching from and if you ever have any questions while i'm crafting please feel free to ask i hope i can catch the comments if i don't catch the comments i will go back through later on um, and write in the comments when the video uploads um, permanently to YouTube. So hello, hello Joanne and Sharon, thank you for joining me. So, and Debbie, thank you. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is, I'm going to do a little bit of a celebration for celebration. So our celebration, we're stamping up, for every $90 that you spend at the moment, you can earn a free item, or for every $180 that you spend, you can earn a level two free item. So what I thought I would do is go through and use some of the things that you can earn for free. Now our celebration ends on the 31st of March, which is Tuesday next week. So we have four days left. So I'm hoping that um, during those four days, if you see something that you like, if you would like to purchase through my online store, if you live in Australia, I would uh, really appreciate the business. Um, and I will have a link to my online store down below after I finish. Although, can I actually, you know what? I can do it here um, in the comments. So I'll just put my online store link and bear with me because I don't type very quickly when I'm doing this. Um, so my online store is donnagray.stampinup.net. So if you click on that, um, that will actually take you to my online store. Or if you would like to order over the phone, my phone number is 0421725015. To order over the phone. Okay, so I'm happy to take orders over the phone. So if you're not good with um, purchasing on the internet and getting onto websites, I'm happy to do that. So it's there in the comments if you wanted to um, place an order with me over the phone. So let's get to crafting because that's what we're here for. Now, I, I would like to say, could you please share my video back onto Facebook or back onto um, any of your social media sites because that helps get my crafting out to more people. So if you could please share back to Facebook, that would absolutely, I would really, really appreciate that um, to, uh, where are we, group. I'm just gonna share into my Facebook group and I'm also going to share onto my Facebook timeline. Okay, there, there, and there. Oh, can't do that. Okay, share. All right, so hopefully you can join me and have a little bit of fun crafting here today. So I'll just pop that there so I can see the comments. Hello, Janice, Clay fan, thank you. Sue, Arlene from New Zealand, loving my naturally wavy hair, thank you. It's a bit of a different look. My mother was just in and she was like, oh wow, you've got your curls happening. And I said, yes, I have. She said, I like it, I really like it. So there you go. This is me a la natural with the curly hair. So I normally have it straightened. Um, okay, so I've got a couple of celebration stamp sets out. So um, I don't really have anything totally planned of what I was going to do. Um, but I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to go with the flow and wing it and we will see how we go. All right. So, sorry, I'm turning my back on you there. Let's flip forward. So bear with me. Thank you. Okay. So, hey, Ruth, how are you going? All right. So I'm going to flip forward and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. All right. We should be good there. 
Okay, so I'm going to christen my Rise and Shine stamp set because I haven't used it yet. So I thought I would do it um, now. I keep running out of time with all of these awesome things for celebration. I seem to keep running out of time of getting to use everything. So I thought I'm going to use this um, because it's a super cute stamp set. So this is a reversible stamp set. So this Rise and Shine is a level two celebration stamp set. So you've got to spend $180 to get this for free. Um, but it's a super cute stamp set. So, and it also coordinates with our cup of cheer dies. So if you had um, a cup of Christmas, I think was the stamp set that we had in our holiday catalog. Um, the dies that match that set actually match this set. So the dies will carry on through into our annual catalogue, but the Christmas um, cup of Christmas won't. This Rise and Shine um, is a great alternative, but as I said, after Tuesday, you won't be able to get your hands on this one either. So if you absolutely love this set, you may want to, after you see me craft with it, you may want to order it. Um, and we'll see how we go. All right, so I decided that I would do a Blackberry Bliss card base. So my card base is cut at five and three quarter inches by eight inches, and I will fold that in half and burnish that with my bone folder, and that is my base. So I thought Blackberry Bliss and our gorgeous Rococo Rose is so pretty. I, I love these two colors together. I don't know what it is about pink and purple together, but I just I absolutely love it. So I thought I would do that and I've got a piece of Whisper White here that we can layer onto that Rococo Rose. So here I've got a scrap piece of Whisper White. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take these cups and I'm going to stamp these cups. So when it's the reversible side, you actually don't get the pattern. So it's just a solid reversible side. So I'm actually not going to do the solid um, pattern. So I'm, I've got my Blackberry Bliss, the Cocoa Rose, and I've got um, Smoky Slate as well. So I'm going to ink one up, and I think I'm going to probably stamp off first because I haven't used this stamp set before. And I actually might grab my pierce mat if I know where that is, right there, because that will give me a better image. So when you've got photopolymer stamps and especially a solid stamp, you're better off to use your pierce mat, something with a little bit of cushioning underneath um, to allow a really nice crisp image. So our red rubber stamps have like a sponge backing on it where our photopolymer stamps don't have that. So what we need is something to give that cushioning in underneath our stamp. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to ink that up in my Blackberry Bliss and then I'm going to smoosh it on here. Now the reason that I do that is sometimes our photopolymer stamps can have a bit of a, um, a build up of or like a film on them that they don't ink up really well. But when you ink it up the first time and then smoosh it on your scrap piece of paper, it should then ink up a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to stamp that down right there. So I'm also going to press that and hold it for a little bit and let the ink soak into the cardstock. This one of the main things with a solid stamp, you need to really do that. And we've got a beautiful, perfect cup. So I'm going to use the other cup, I think, that I'm going to use it, but I'm going to do it reversed so that we have a cup that is opposite this one. And I think I might do that in my Rococo Rose. So I want that on a block that way. So I want it so that I can stamp it the opposite way. So I'm also going to, oh, and I was gonna do that in Rococo Rose, but that's okay, I'm going to do that and then I'm gonna clean it off. Okay, now I'm actually going to use my stamp and scrub this morning to clean it off and the reason being my chamois I have put in the washing machine to wash it. So if you haven't seen the stamp and scrub, the stamp and scrub is awesome for cleaning your stamps. So I'm just going to, you use the spray mist, stamp and mist, spray one side and then the other side is dry and that cleans your stamp off perfectly. Okay, so we're just gonna use the stamp and scrub this morning while I stamp because the others, as I said, are in the wash. Okay, 
So I'm just going to ink that up now with my Rococo Rose. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to stamp it down and I'm going to hold it and let the ink soak in. So hopefully this is going to give us a good image. Hello everyone, thank you for joining. Hey Vicky, hey Jerry, Therese, how are you going? Debbie, Linda, Glenda. Okay, so we've got a Rococo Rose one there as well. So I'm actually going to, there's a little stamp in here that is like a circle starburst. Um, and I'm actually going to do that on that Rococo Rose one. I'm going to do that to add a little bit of interest on that mug. Okay, so I'm going to pop that on there. I'm going to smoosh that on there as well because it hasn't been used before and I'm going to line that up over that circle. I might have to stand up and do this. Line that up over that circle and I'm going to stamp it down. So it's just gonna give us a cute little pattern on our mug, okay? So it is a cute stamp set, this. I don't know why I haven't played with it before. And I think I'm actually going to pop the word tea in the middle of that because some people are tea drinkers and some people are coffee drinkers. So I wanted this to be for a bit of both. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to ink that up in my Blackberry Bliss, smoosh it off, ink it up again, and I'm going to pop that down in the middle of that little mug. Just like that. Super cute. All right. So I'll clean those off again. I love the stamp and scrub. I think I love the stamp and scrub more than the shemmy. The shemmy is fantastic, but the stamp and scrub I think really, really scrubs our stamps and really gets into all the crevices on our stamps. Okay, so I'll pop that over there. All right, so that's all that stamping that we're going to do. So I'm gonna get rid of my pierce mat. Pop it behind me. Now I'm gonna grab the framelits and I'm going to cut out those um, lovely little mugs. So I'll just grab the coffee mug. So we have, in these framelits, we have a reversible coffee mug. So we have one for that one and one for this one. So you can cut them both out at the same time. I'm just gonna close these inks up so I don't get it all over me. And I'll bring in the big shot. So bear with me while I just grab my big shot. Okay. So who's crafting this morning? Who's having a lovely time? Who's in their craft room? Tea sounds good, Sue. I think it sounds good too. I'd love to have a, have a cup of tea at the moment. <laughs> I've just had my mum and dad in and um, they're picking up. I, when we were children, we had a Hammond organ and my sister and myself learnt to play the organ. And when mum and dad were shifting, they actually gave me the organ because they thought out of anyone, I would be the one that would get the most use out of it. So it's been in my house since before I've had children. It's been in my house and I have used it, um, but I actually ended up purchasing an electric keyboard. And so I started playing and having a fun time on the electric keyboard. And my father actually does country music singing. So he was, um, he rang me up and he said, do you still have the organ? And I said, yes, I do. So you can see how they cut out those cute little mugs. I said, yes, I do. And he said, good, I'll be coming in to grab it because he said, I want to get it. It's got a rhythm section on it, which it does. It has a, a section built into the organ that it has like a beat rhythm um, section. So he wanted to get it because he obviously wants to have a little bit of background music or something happening while he's playing his guitar. So... Um, that's why I'm running a little bit late and why I'm winging everything today because I was out helping them get the organ loaded up to take it back out to their place. I think he's going a little bit stir crazy with the self-isolation thing. So I think he wanted to come in and, and, um, grab it so that he could, um, play tunes and things and do what he needs to do. <laughs> A wheat black tea, you like, Sue? Hang on, I'll just pop the kettle on. Just kidding. Okay, 
So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to um, stamp, um, there's a stamp here, let's hang out soon. So I think I want to do that because when all this happens and we can get out of um, our isolation, I think I'm going to want to have some cards to send to people to say, let's hang out soon. I think that sounds like a great idea. So I'm just going to mount that up onto a block. And I think what I'm going to do is down the bottom here on this layer, because I want to have this happening. I also want to pop this strip going through here, but I'm going to do something special to that strip. And then I'm going to pop my mugs on here like this. But I think I want to have the sentiment going down here in the bottom. And I think I want to do that in the Blackberry Bliss. So I'm going to ink that up again. And I really need a scrap piece of paper. We'll do that here. We'll use this white piece. So I'm going to ink that up again. And I'm going to smoosh it on there because it hasn't been used before. Okay. I'm going to ink it up again. And I'm going to stamp it down on the bottom there. And I probably should bring my mat in to make sure that it stamps nicely. Okay, so I want it down in that very bottom corner of that cardstock. So let's hang out soon. So just like that, perfect. All right, so now I've got this cute little strip that I wanna pop through the center, but I don't want it plain. I think it looks a little bit boring plain. So what I thought I might do is grab the embossing folder, which this is the Ornate Garden embossing folder. So I'm actually going to grab my embossing plates and emboss that. Okay. So like so. Now with this, I'm going to use my base plate, just my base plate and the blue embossing plate. And I'm going to pop my strip of Rococo Rose into there. And I'm going to, with the fold, pop the fold in going through my Big Shot first and run that through. Hey Priscilla, how are you? Thanks for joining, I'm glad you've caught me live. Okay, so we've got that gorgeous textured piece. Now you'll see that just adding that texture on the front makes such a difference to your card. Just pop them aside. It makes such a difference on your card just to add that little bit of texture. Okay, so I think we're good to go as far as that. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to arrange my mugs because I want to stamp the steam that comes up out of here. So in our stamp set, it's got this cute little steam stamp. So I want to stamp that where I'm going to place my mugs. So I'm going to mount that onto a block and I'm going to grab my smoky slate. Hey Rhonda, how you going? Hey Jeanette. Oh, you go um, on a, by Janice. Oh, no worries Janice, catch the replay. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm just looking at where that those mugs are sitting. Just a random look at where they're sitting because I want to be able to do the steam. So I think the steam, I can have this one coming down here and maybe this one going up there. So I'm probably going to have a hard time getting that steam in there, but that's okay. We'll go down a little bit further and stamp that. So it's going to have the steam coming out of our mug. Isn't that cute? I love this set for that reason. So I'm going to line this one up again. Sorry, I'm out of the camera shot there. So I've got that one happening there. I'm going to line this one up down a little bit lower so I can probably get the full steam in. Or can I swap them around? I might swap them around. We'll do that. And that. This one can go down lower because I want to get the steam in for that. It'll be so nice when we're able to hang out with people again and have coffee and tea. I think it will be fantastic. But 
Our crafting is keeping us sane. Thank you, Sue. Okay, so I'm going to glue that onto my Rococo Rose piece. And I've got like a sixteen, a sixteenth of an inch border all the way around. So just that tiny, you can just see a sneak of that Rococo Rose coming out from behind. I'm then going to glue my strip on. Yeah, I know, Vicky. Vicky's saying that they say it could go on until July. I know, but you know what? We are so lucky that we have crafting to keep us busy. That's all I can say. How lucky are we that we have crafting in our life? To keep us totally sane. And you know, jumping on here keeps me sane as well as you sane. So I'm I'm crafting and having a great time hanging out with you. And I don't feel like I'm so alone when I jump on and hang out. Hey, Gloria, how are you going? Hey, Winan. Hey, Kathleen. Thanks for joining. So I'm going to pop my mugs up so that I get a bit of dimension happening on my cards. So I'm just going to pop some dimensionals on the back of these mugs. And I don't know about you, I drink a cup of tea in a mug. I love a cup of tea and I love to be able to drink it in a mug. So I like a good, decent cup of tea. I'm just gonna cut a little one for that handle so that we can get a little tiny bit there. And that one should fit on that handle, hopefully, there. And look at that, how satisfying. Full sheet of dimensionals, gone, done. I'm still using up all these dimensionals from doing my in-person fundraiser that we did for the um, the rural fire service. We've had a bit of a tough time here in Australia. You know, we've just been through the bushfires. We've had massive floods. And now we're going through the virus. Oh, you still have to go to work, Susan? Sue? Sorry. Um... Yeah, my husband's still going to work. My girls are still going to work. Thank the Lord, because my girls are casual, so they're still they're still getting to um, to get their hours up, which is great. Um, it worries me though. Every time they're going, it worries me that they're safe. But you went to the supermarket yesterday to get some essentials. I only got milk and bread. Nothing else on the shelf. I know it's it's very I. I actually had, <laughs> you'll probably think that this is a bit strange, the dilemma we've got. We have two cats. We have a cat that lives outdoors, our female cat. She lives outdoors, but she's an old cat. We've had her for like 19 years. And we have a new little young cat. He's, he's actually only three years old. Um, I'm going to pop that up on the front as well. He's only three years old. And so because he lives inside, he has kitty litter trays and he has two kitty litter trays and he's a little bit fussy. I don't know whether it's because it's male cats or not. I find that we've always had issues with male cats. Female cats seem to be quite clean, but male cats seem to be very fussy about where they go to the toilet and um, they have little accidents. So we have been using the same type of kitty litter his whole entire three years of his life. We've been using the same type of kitty litter. And the issue that we have is you cannot buy that kitty litter at the moment in the supermarket, they're all out. So we have tried everywhere. We tried all different places. We've tried absolutely everywhere to get his kitty litter and we couldn't get it anywhere. So this morning I said to my husband, I did see it on eBay. Do you think we should maybe get it off eBay? And so this morning I spent $125 on kitty litter for our male cat because he is so picky and choosy. So isn't that cute? Now I'm going to bling it up with a little bit of um, rhinestones. Okay, get a bit of putty happening on the end here. So I'm just going to bling it up with some rhinestones. So a couple of rhinestones randomly around. like so and then I'm just going to I need to cut an insert I haven't got the insert cut but I'll do that there we 
there. Bring in my trimmer. Okay, so I'm going to do that one at three and three quarters by five and a half, which it's at five and a half, so that's good. Okay. So I think what I'll do is, I'll just bring in that scrap piece of paper because I want to stamp just a mug, I think, in that corner. So I'll ink up that with the Blackberry Bliss again because I think I like that cute pattern on the mug. So I'm going to ink that up. Oh, and I need my mat, my pierce mat. There it is there. Okay, ink that up just in case I go off the cardstock. I shouldn't, but just in case I do. I'm going to pop that one there like that. <laughs> you think of all the cardstock you could purchase. Do you want to know something, Janet? I just purchased a big supply of cardstock as well. <laughs> um, but it's, I, I actually, I thought to myself, well, I don't know how long we're going to be in lockdown. And the issue that I have is that because he won't use anything else, I have no choice. So here we go, we've got some steam and it's blowing a little bit in the breeze there. Um, so the choice that I had was, do I buy up and then I'm prepared because we change his kitty litter every couple of days. So we were in a right dilemma. We bought all these other types of kitty litter and he just doesn't want to go in it. So we have an issue, <laughs> an issue with the kitty litter. Isn't it amazing that our pets have that important role in our life, but anyway. I think he will be happy when his kitty litter turns up. I think he's going to be happy. And I like the kitty litter that he uses as well. It dissolves all the smells and it's quite good. So, All right, so there we have a super cute card so that when I get to be able to hang out with my friends again, I'll be able to send them a card and say, hey, let's hang out. So that was using the Rise and Shine. As I said, it's a, it's a um, level two bundle. And, uh, sorry, a level two item in the celebration, and we have four days to get it. So if you think that it is a super cute set and you might like to get your hands on it, you need to order before Tuesday next week because after Tuesday it will be gone. And it does, um, it does actually coordinate with our, what were they called? The framelits, whoops, the cup of cheer dies so we're able to cut out those cute little coffee mugs sorry i'm just cleaning up so that i don't end up in a big mess here and i'm just going to take all those off the blocks and pop them back into my case and i will put them back in there properly later so did you enjoy that card if you enjoyed that card yeah um um if you enjoyed that card please hit the like button, give me a thumbs up because I really appreciate knowing that you've enjoyed what I've done. I'll put all those aside again. You love the colors? Thank you. All right, so we're gonna pop that aside. I'm gonna put my framelits back in there and one fell down here, so I'll grab it. Now I always store my framelits. People ask me, where do you, what do you do with your framelits? I normally have them on a magnetic sheet and I still keep them in the actual case with everything else so that oops that one decided to stick to it so that um, we so I don't lose it and every time I go to use that stamp set I know exactly where to find them so all right um, the next one I'm going to bring in is this this is not a celebration item. You're looking at me thinking, what in the world are you doing with the Butterfly Gala stamp set? But the punch is actually a celebration item, which I think is fantastic. They've actually, the um, third release is actually got things out of our annual catalog for um, to redeem as a celebration item as well. So I thought what I would do is do a really cute quick card using the Butterfly Gala stamp set. And um, I thought I would use the Mango Melody. So I need a piece of Whisper White here to be able to stamp my butterflies on. And I'm just going to do um, a little bit of sponging 
for these butterflies so that we get some nice color. So the beauty of this stamp set is the Butterfly Gala stamp set has butterflies that um, the small one and the large one are matching. So, and they coordinate with our punch. So as I said, the punch is um, from memory, it's a level two item in our third release. Um, I would say it was a level two item anyway. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna do a couple of butterflies on this stamp on this card and what other one? Maybe this one here. Okay, so I'm going to line those up on some blocks and I'm going to stamp them and then grab some of my sponges and sponge with my stamp. Okay, so I'm going to stamp in, I think I'm going to do basic grey. Now the reason why I'm going to do basic grey, I don't like black images and then coloured. Unless it was like really full on bright colours. I tend to like, um, yes, it is level two. Thank you, Liz. Um, I actually like to do it with the basic gray, um, just so that it softens a little bit. I've always done that. Uh, I, when I when I used to color things and they were they had black outlines, I was just like, ooh, it reminds me of school and the coloring in books. And I was like, oh, it just, yeah. So you can still get a really nice lined image with your basic gray but it just softens the whole image a little bit more. Okay, so I'm thinking for this, I may do, what colors will I do? Let's do Mango Melody for a start. Is that my Mango Melody? It is. And let's do, um, oh, I'm thinking maybe Pumpkin Pie. Where are we? Or Kajan craze, or Cajun craze. I always say it wrong. Everyone says the way I say it is really strange, but I know that I do it, but I just, I, I don't know why. I just always call it Kajan, but it's called Cajun craze. So um, beg my pardon for being, <laughs> not saying things right. Hey Deanna, it's cloudy in California. Um, California, there and there, okay. So we're going to do a bit of Mango Melody in the center of them. Okay, so I'm going to do Mango Melody. So just with the sponge dauber and in our ink, we're just going to color the center like that and like that. Same thing there in the center of that little one and a bit bigger out in this one here. So we've got that. It's totally okay that we've gone outside the lines. It doesn't matter because we are going to cut them out. So it's not a problem. I'm then going to go in with the Cajun craze. Gee, did I get that right? And I'm just going to, on the outside, I know you're looking at this thinking, wow, but you know, it's going to look quite cute when we cut them out. Okay. All right, so we've got those colored and we're ready to punch them out with our duet punch. We'll just pop them out of the way. Yep. You have this set and still yet to use it, always looking for ideas, I know. It's super cute. Okay, so I'm going to line that up and I'm going to punch them out. Now you will notice that I didn't do the body just yet. The reason why I don't do the body is in case you don't line them up real good, you can sometimes cut the body wrong. So I'm just going to punch those out and this one here. So line him up. Oh. About there. And punch him out. Okay. So we've got some super cute little butterflies. All right. 
Now, I think what I'm going to do is, hopefully I've got a piece of it here, which I do. I'm gonna take some of the Kajan craze, or Cajun craze, there I go again, Kajan. Kajan just comes off my tongue so much easier. I have no idea why, but it just does. But anyway, so we're gonna do three and three quarters by five and a half. So we're gonna bring some of that color in. Okay. And I'm going to, so my card base is cut at five and three quarters by eight inches. And we're going to fold that in half and use our bone folder. Did you go somewhere, Doris? <laughs> you love the color? Now, I think what I want to do is we have some other, um, just bear with me. I'm going to see if I can grab my other butterfly set, if I can find it. There it is. Okay. So the reason why I wanted to grab the other butterfly set, it has some great backgrounds and I really, really like that. And I'm going to grab... I think some very vanilla for my layers because I think that the vanilla will go nicer with um, with that than the white. So I'm just going to cut a card base for that. I was going to be all prepped and ready to go this morning and then my mum and dad showed up and it took a lot longer than expected and so I was then running late. But you know, I think we need to spend time with family as much as we can. And especially with everything that's going on in the world, um, I was quite happy to spend a bit of time with my mum and dad. Okay, so they're actually very lucky because they live out in the country. So they live right out of town and right away from everything, which is fantastic for them. I, I think it's great that they're nice and safe where they are. Okay, so this has got some cute little bubbles. So I think I'm gonna do some of these bubbles everywhere. And then I'm actually going to do um, some of the splats that are in here. It's got this great splatter, which I love. So I'm just gonna go crazy and create a bit of a background. And um, I think I'm going to do this, you've been on my mind. So I think I wanna stamp that first. You've been on my mind because I think this will be a great card to be able to send out to somebody um, that you're thinking about during this time and this isolation time. So I'm thinking that this will be a great card. All right, so I've got that and I think I'm going to do that in, I'm thinking basic grey actually, the sentiment. I think that will be good. Okay. So, and I feel like that's crooked, so I feel like I need to just let it sit there and pop it on. All right. So, I'm going to bring in my pierce mat again to make sure that I stamp that nicely. I think I'm going to stamp that. Down here, you've been on my mind. Like so. And that didn't stamp real well because, see, I didn't smoosh it. I should have smooshed it because it hasn't been used before and it's a photopolymer stamp. So can you see that? I just wanna show you that up close. Can you see how like the my, the word my is not crisp and nice? So I'm gonna turn it over because the beauty of, um, of stamping is we have another side of cardstock. So I'm gonna smoosh that on my paper and then I'm gonna ink it up again. So that's a typical example of that the photopolymer stamp has like a bit of a coating on it and the color doesn't actually adhere to your stamp really well and now I want to show you that one so so much better beautiful crisp clear perfect okay so there is the reason <laughs> behind why we do that okay I think I'm still going to leave this in here I think I'm also going to use this gorgeous spray here and I'm going to do that in the grey as well, the smoky slate. So I'll grab that and it can go on there. 
and I think I'm just going to stamp that just down the side here. So just like that. You've been on my mind. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is with these little circles, I'm going to create a background of bubbles and things for these um, to go on. So I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to first of all with some Kajan praise, and I think I wanna stamp off first because I think it's going to be quite bright. And maybe another one that way, second stage. So you can use that and maybe another one up through there. So I'm just creating a really nice, cute, bubbly background. And I'll just clean that with my stamp and scrub. Okay. And now I'm going to go through with the Mango Melody and I'm going to create some bubbles with the Mango Melody all around the place. So just like that. And I think that looks super cute for the front. So um, I'm thinking the smooches, we might be able to do them in the smoky, in the basic grey. Sorry, I'm saying smoky slate and I'm using that. I'm going to use smoky slate because I want it to be a little bit lighter than that basic grey. And I think I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to stamp straight on. What do you think? And I want to, oop, I want to just go off the edge there a little bit. And I want to stamp off and on there. I'm thinking that looks pretty nice. Okay. And now we have our cute little butterflies. So I'm going to bring in my basic gray again. And I'm going to stamp the bodies of my butterflies. So in my stamp set, we have a big body and a small body. So I'm going to grab the big body there. Now you must make sure you don't lose these bodies and it's very hard to tell, but there is a bigger end and a smaller end of the body. I know it looks like it looks the same, but there is a, a bigger end and a smaller end. So I'm just gonna bring those two large ones in and we'll do them first. And we'll get the gray. And once you put the body on it, it adds to the detail of the card. You love playing with this card set? Okay, oh, the mat, sorry, Doris, I've just seen your question. Yeah, the, um, oh, I need to move that up there. The photopolymer stamps don't have the same, the, the cushioning that our, um, that our red rubber stamps have. So you use a mat to be able to get that cushioning so you get a good crisp image. So we've got the bodies on the large ones. So I'll clean that off and we'll get the small body. Always make sure you stick that body back into your stamp set and you don't lose it. I'm really super scared. They're such tiny little stamps. I'm really super scared I'm going to lose them. Okay, let me see. Big end and little end. Oh, I can hardly tell, but I think I've got that the right way. Okay, let's bring the little butterflies in. And we'll stamp their bodies. So like that. Oops, and I stamped that very, very crooked. So we might do that again. Not real good that one, but that's okay. We're going to embellish it anyway. And there. Okay, so we've got the bodies done on those. And now it's just a case of assembling these gorgeous butterflies on the front. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to line that up onto my Cajun craze. Oh, no worries, Maureen, you're here now, it's all good. And see, no one can see that I've made that mistake in behind there, like it's all covered up. Once we glue it on, no one knows that we had a bit of a blooper on the back, okay. So we've got that there. So you've got like that beautiful um, tiny bit of Cajun craze there. So I'm going to 
pop that up on dimensionals onto the front of my card. I'm going to be crafting all weekend. I have videos that I need to record. Uh, if this is the first time you've watched my YouTube channel and you haven't subscribed, feel free to hit the subscribe button down in that right hand corner and you'll see a little bell icon. If you click on the bell icon, that actually gives you a notification when I jump on live or if I upload a video, it tells you that I've uploaded a video. Um, so you'll get a notification that I've actually had a bit of action on my YouTube channel and I would really appreciate the subscriptions. I'm trying so hard to get to 10,000 subscribers. I'm at 7,700 and something I think now. So I'm getting super excited that I'm getting towards my goal. And it doesn't really mean, well, it does mean a lot that I have great subscriptions and I have great followers, but it's just been a goal of mine for a while. So I've been working hard to get to there. Okay, so I'm going to pop some dimensionals on the back of these gorgeous butterflies as well. And you wait until you see these butterflies on the front of this card. They're absolutely going to pop with that background. And I should have some small ones, but I don't at the moment. So I'm just going to cut these little bits and hopefully they're going to be small enough for the body of the small ones. Which they are. Can you believe I haven't got any mini dimensionals at my desk? And every time I go to live crafting, I think, I didn't bring the mini dimensionals again. So I'm just going to have some butterflies all around the place here. So I'm thinking maybe just like that. Looks super cute. What do you think? Hi Eileen, how are you going? Thanks for joining. Oh, Jenny, you didn't know you won? I think you you must have, um, oh, but you've sent me, I haven't sent it out yet. I was going to say, but you've emailed me your address, haven't you? I'm trying to limit my time at the post office. I'm trying not to go to the post office. I'm trying to just go once a week. So the main thing that I had to do this week was get my Stamps Club kits out. And so I've finally done that. Uh, but I'm trying to limit my time. I'm an asthmatic and I really don't want to go out in the public at the moment. I'm trying to shelter as much as I can. But um, I'm trying to only go to the post office once a week if I can. But anyway, so I hope you understand. It hasn't been sent out yet. But anyway, it's getting there. All right, so I think I want a little bit of glamour here on these cute butterflies. So I'm going to do one on each of the little ones. Whoops. I dime onto in the middle of the little ones and I'm going to probably do two on the bigger ones because they're bigger butterflies. They've got a bigger body. A bit of bling. We all need a bit of bling. Okay. You've been on my mind. So I'll just cut another layer for the insert. So we're going to do that one three and three quarters by five and a half. Oh, it's by five and a quarter, but that's okay. That will have to do. Ah, uh, we might do that three and a half then. So it doesn't look out of place. All right. So we'll do that on the insert. Oh, I can do this. Seeing I have a piece left here. Does this, is this five and a half? I can get five and a half. So we'll do that. Five and a half by three and three quarters. So we're going to do a double insert. Now, I don't normally do this with cards, but I'm doing it because my piece of um, berry vanilla wasn't big enough for the insert of the cards. So I'm actually just going to do it like that. So we've got a really nice, super cute insert on the card. Actually, did I not do that one the right length? That one should be three and a half. Three and three quarters by three and a half. No, five and a quarter. Yeah, for some reason I didn't cut that quite right. There we go. 
Okay, so that's going to be nice for the insert of my card. So I'm just going to do a similar thing on the insert. Do we have something that would go, you've been on my mind. The good things in life are better with you. That sounds really, really cute. The good things in life are better with you. Okay, so I'm going to mount that up onto a stamp. And we'll do that in our Kajan craze, Cajun craze. I have to, see, I have to actually, um, I have to correct myself every time. Okay, grab my mat again for that. So we're just going to pop that on the insert there like that. And I'm just, if there's any ink left on these, Look at that. So I'll take that up closer so you can see just the lighter bubble effect, but it just takes that plain look off your sentiment on the inside. Um, oh, it's stuck to the back. All right, so I'm gonna glue that to my Cajun Craze layer. Thank you, Winan. Okay, and then I'm going to glue that to the insert. And I think I need a new bottle of glue. That will do anyway. All right, so that is card number two. So hopefully you enjoyed that. So card number two, you've been on my mind using the beautiful duet punch. Now, as I said, this is going to be a free level two item if you purchase during March. So until the end of March, the 31st of March. So you've got four days, people, to purchase and be able to earn the duet punch for free. This duet punch was so popular that when it came out, um, it actually went on back order forever. It was crazy. Uh, because it was so popular. Everybody loved it, everybody wanted it, and so it went on back order. So if you had that issue and then you didn't eventually get around to getting it, my suggestion would be to jump on and, um, and order as soon as you can because you can get it for free, which that's even better. I love Celebration. And also too, during Celebration, it's a great time to join. So if you've been on the fence about joining Stampin' Up!, you didn't know whether you wanted to do it or not. Um, and I know that it's very uncertain times for the world um, with everything that's going on. But even with the uncertain times, it's a really good special. So if you're stuck at home and you're needing to get some products, you might think about joining my team because you get a super cute little baby mini guillotine cutter, which is so cute. It is the cutest of, of all. And you can also get... Um, a six by six pack of designer series paper that is free. You can get a stamp set of your choice that's free and you get to choose $235 worth of product. Um, and you only pay $169 and it gets delivered to your door. So it's a fantastic bargain. Uh, so if you've been on the fence and you're thinking about it, I can tell you now is definitely the time to join. I'm just gonna pop them back in there randomly so I don't lose them. And get rid of my blocks and we'll move on to the next card. You'd love it too. Yeah, the bank balance. I can understand. I can relate. I did have a lady that joined my team only um, yesterday and she said, I know it's uncertain times, but you know, it's such a good special that even if I just buy the special right now and that's all I do. And I said, you know what? That is a fantastic idea because you're going to get products and you're going to be able to craft and you're going to be able to keep yourself sane. So I do understand in the situation and the economical um, situation we're probably going to be in. But as I said, if you need to keep yourself sane, that starter special is a really good special. So even if that's all you ever do, it's a very good special. All right. So other thing that I decided to use was the well-dressed. Now I'm sure we all struggle making cards for males. Now this one is a free item with a $90 order. 
So I know that we struggle making cards for males. I like if if you say that you don't, then congratulations and woohoo to you because I've always struggled making male themed cards. So um, I tend to find I really like to go for nice masculine colors. So I think I'm going to look at Knight of Navy. I think I'm going to look at um, Merry Merlot, and I think I might even look at maybe mango melody do you like that color scheme what are you thinking do you think they look like um you're a hobby demonstrator sue yes i know um i joined as a hobby as well you like i know jenny rose rose's one sheet wonder was awesome just tuned in did you do double color technique with the butterflies I Lynn what I actually did was I um, I stamped the butterflies and then I sponged with a sponge dauber so I just sponged the center of the body with the sponge dauber with the mango melody and then the Cajun craze on the outside part of the wings so all right so this is my color scheme this is what I'm gonna go with all right so I'm thinking that I might like to do uh, Knight of Navy as my base. So sorry, the thought process is happening here. Knight of Navy as my base. That's where I'm going to start with. Okay, so I'm going to... And my base, once again, is cut at 5 and 3 quarter inches by 8 inches. Folded in half at 4 inches gives me a 4 inch by 5 and 3 quarter inch card front size. All right? So I'm just going to pop that card front side size away and I think what I'm going to do, do I want to do, I'm feeling like I want to do, do I want to do that or do I want to do that? No, I think I want to do that. I think that's going to be great. So I'm going to cut some layers. Okay. So I want this one to be three and three quarters by five and a half. So we've got three and three quarters by five and a half for that one. And then I want this Merry Merlot to be three and a half by five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. Okay, like that. And so I'm going to have those gorgeous layers like that on my Knight of Navy base. All right. And then I'm going to keep those bits to the side because I don't know whether I'm going to use them. I now need a piece of, um, I think I'm going to go very vanilla again for the front of this card. So I'm going to do, so that was um, five and a quarter. So I'm actually going to do three and three thirds, okay, by five and one third. Is that right? Let me see if I've done that right. Three and three thirds by five and one third. Have I done it right? Yes, I have. So you can see there, I'm going to get that tiny little border on that one. So I'm going to get a hint of the Merry Merlot, which is what I like. All right. Now, I'm going to take, I'm thinking, just the umbrella. And I'm going to get my Merry Merlot. I'm going to get my Mango Melody. And I'm going to get my Knight of Navy. All right. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do and I'll grab my umbrella. All right. And I'm going to pop that onto a block like so. All right, and I need a scrap piece of paper. So I'm just gonna see if I can grab a piece of copy paper here, which I can. Grab a scrap piece of paper for underneath my very vanilla, whoops, and I got two. Underneath my very vanilla sheet. Okay, so I'm thinking what I want to do is I want to do this at an angle and I don't know whether this is going to work, but we're going to see how we go. We're going to, and I'm going to need my stamp and scrub because I'm going to need to clean in between every time. Okay, 
So I'm going to start with my Mango Melody. I'm going to open all three of these. <laughs> oh, Eileen, I'm so sorry. What can I say? All I can say is I do my job well. I know, I'm so sorry. I know people watch me and they say, well, I wasn't gonna get that, but now that I've seen you do that, I really want that. I'm so sorry for doing that, but hey, we all love crafting and I think we're all the same. We don't. We see something and we think, mm, no, that's average. And then we see someone do something with it and you think, wow. <laughs> I'm really funny. Thanks, Diane. <laughs> You know what? I'm keeping it real. I am who I am. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm gradually going to go at an angle and I don't know whether this is going to work. I really don't. So bear with me. So I'm going to do one that way. You're going to see this come together as I stamp. And I'm going to do one that way. Oops. And I'm going to do Turn it around, so that one was that way. This one's gonna be this way. Oh, oh no, and I mucked up. Did I not ink it up? Okay, I'm gonna start again. Sorry, people. I can't have it mucked up like that. I have to start again. Okay, let's try again. So we're gonna go Mango Melody right there. To make sure I ink it all up. Okay, turn it around. So we're going to go the opposite way and we're going to go Merry Merlot. Okay. Now, ink it up properly. <laughs> so turn it around. We're going to make sure we ink it all up. And we're going to go that way with that one. Okay. Go again. Lucky I've got black shorts on because I keep wiping it on my shorts so that I definitely don't get an overlap of colour. So that one there. Okay. Merry Merlot. So we're going to turn it around again. Merry Merlot. That one there. Mmm, this is looking okay. Okay, turn it around and we're going to get Night of Navy. Make sure we get it all inked up really well. Night of Navy there. Oh, and I nearly missed a bit there, but I think that's going to be okay. We can just, we can live with that, I think. Okay. And there. And the Merry Merlot. We're getting off the page, but that's okay. So we're gonna do that there. All right. And I'm gonna do Knight of Navy because we need a little peak of Knight of Navy here. Like that. That's not looking too bad. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. I don't know whether this is going to wreck it. I hope it doesn't. But I'm actually, although I could do it that way and put a sentiment. That looks good. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, because I can put a sentiment down in here. I think I'm going to do that. All right. So now the thing is we don't have sentiments with this stamp set. But it's okay because we have this sending you thoughts. Okay. Um, what am I going to do? Another sensational year of you. I think I'm going to do that. So, um, this is a super cute stamp set. Um, where does that, where is it there? That one there. Okay, bear with me. It's a new one. I actually have a, I have this somewhere. I've used it, but do you think I can find it? So I've had to open another one. Another sensational year of you, that one there. So bear with me while I stick my sticker on because I like to see where I'm where I'm stamping. Okay. So I've taken the backing off this one. I've also taken um, the backing off this one and I've taken the top off. And then I just line it up over that cutout shape. 
and stick it down okay and pull it off and there you have it good to go all right so I'm gonna do that and I think I'm going to do it in the night of Navy I think but okay I don't want to do it just straight on that card because I have a thing about doing that I need to have I need to have it layered up so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in do I have it right there or not the truly tailored punch where is that there okay is it going to fit I think it will let me see we'll grab a scrap of cream do I have a scrap here big enough yes I do all right I've got a scrap of cream and I'm going to ink up another sensational year of you in night of Navy and I'm going to stamp that down okay and then I'm gonna punch it out with the truly tailored punch now this was um, a punch that we've had around for a while and it's fantastic you can use it as a triple banner punch if you wanted to to banner the ends of your um, sentiments and things okay so I actually want to do a little bit of a pattern over that just to make it look a little bit different so we've got this I don't know like a herringbone pattern some people have said to me that they reckon it's like tire tracks some people have reckoned that it's like the the pattern in the material on a on a suit um, I don't know but whatever it is that's what I'm using and I'm going to I think just um, stamp off with and I'm using smoky slate so I think I'm gonna stamp off and I'm gonna stamp on so I want to just add a little bit of um, patterning in the background so stamp off and stamp on so a little bit of patterning just on the background of that sentiment like that okay so it takes that that stark cream look off it and now one of my hints with um, crafting is I like to pop a banner in behind a, a different color so I'm gonna pop I'm gonna punch out two of these so one and two I'm gonna get rid of that scrap piece of paper we don't need it anymore you're really liking it <laughs> Okay, so we've got that. We've got our card front like that. We've got that. I'm just wondering, do I need, I've got a bit of glue on there. Whoa, something just fell off. <laughs> a bit of glue on my desk. Did you hear that big bang, everyone? Something fell on my floor. I'll deal with it after the live. Okay, so that, that, and that. I'm feeling like I'm going to pop those onto there. So I'm actually going to go like that and then like that. So I'm going to end up with a banner there like that. So I think that's great. I'll grab my glue and do that. I am keeping it real, Liz. That's it. That's me. You get what you see. Okay. So I'm going to, and I've got too much glue on that, but I'll just slide it up. Okay. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to get like a little um, slither of that Merry Merlot in behind. And then I'm going to add some glue onto here. I really need to get another glue. That one's just not doing it for me. Is this one any better? Let me see. Yep, that one's better. Okay, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to place it down on there like that. Okay, so I've got my sentiment there looking super, super swish. I think that's good. Now, do you think maybe we need a little bit of ribbon or something on here? I think we do. I think it just needs that little bit extra oomph. So, I think what I might do, we've got this really cute denim ribbon. So, I think we might use it and grab it. I'm thinking we could do that under the sentiment. 
Yes, for sure. Twine, mm, I could do twine, let me see. I could do, all right, we have this twine here. We could use the Knight of Navy out of this. Let me see. So this twine is the Country Club twine. Okay, so we're going to do a vote on this. Do we do the denim ribbon in behind? Okay, so we're going to sit it up there and I may tie a knot there with the denim ribbon. Or do we use the twine? Whoops. And I wrap the twine around. Let me see. If we wrap twine around like this. And then pop the sentiment on. Ribbon looks better. Twine. Ribbon. Twine. Let me see. Type into the comments. Let me know. <laughs> so I've got ribbon. Ribbon looks better. Okay, so I've got three for ribbon. I actually think I like the ribbon as well. So you know what? We might go for the ribbon. Twine, twine, twine. Now I've got three twine. I've got, I've got four twine, I think. I think I'm going to go ribbon because I want to go ribbon and I want to tie a knot, I think. So I'm going to glue these on anyway. Ribbon. <laughs> oh, dear. So type into the comments where you're watching from. I love finding out. So just um, type in what country you're from. I love knowing where everyone is, where you're watching from, and where my videos are reaching to. It's really, really great fun to hear that. Much better choice, the ribbon. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that and then tie a knot over here. I think that will be good. A few from the US, Sue's from Melbourne, Lynn's from Australia, Linda's from Australia, Pam's from Carolina, US, US. So I'm getting um, a fair few from the US. And it should be your night time over there. Hello, Jay Bra from Germany. Well, that's awesome. Reaching all the way to Germany. Queensland, Nashville, Tennessee. Did you get affected by the hurricane, Eileen? I know that um, Nashville really copped it. I hope you were okay in that hurricane. Was it a hurricane or a tornado that came through? Canada, Janet's from Canada. You love the umbrellas, so cute. <laughs> okay. And look at that, 231 Donna. What a great username you have from Canada. <laughs> We have something in common. Three, two, one, Donna. That's great. And let me know if it's your first time watching. If you're watching and you haven't commented, please feel free to comment. Don't be scared. Don't work in the backgrounds. Please comment and let me know that you're here. Because um, Glenda is, Lynn saying, where's Glenda from? Glenda's from up near Rockhampton. Okay. So I'm just going to wrap that one around and stick it into my double-sided tape on the back. Oh, it missed where you live, Eileen. That's great. It's good to hear. The world's just going crazy at the moment, isn't it? It's just, I don't know. Do I do my own nails? No, I don't do my own nails and I will be in a big dilemma. Um, I got my nails done on Wednesday night and all nail salons had to close down Wednesday night at 11 o'clock. I got my nails done at 6 p.m. on Wednesday night. We are regulars. I go every four weeks and get my nails done and my heart goes out to my nail technician. The poor girl, she has just had a baby five months ago. She's just um, build a brand new home and she's had to shut the doors of her salon, which is really, really sad. Um, and it's, um, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to see young kids like that that are trying so hard to get ahead in business 
Um, it's very sad to see. But, do you know, like I said to her, you know, if you can weather through it, like her husband's got a job, so luckily he's still got a job at the moment. Um, if they can weather the storm and get through it, she may start back up again, but I don't know. It's really sad. So, um, but I was definitely, I wanted to support her for one last time. So I went down on Wednesday night and then I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'm just going to have to let them grow out, I suppose. I don't know. I wish I could do my own nails, <laughs> but anyway, so I'm just going to, so I've, I've layered that up onto my Mango Melody and then I'm going to pop that onto the front of my card. It is a lovely stamp set, Janet, and, and you can earn it for free. Oh, I think that's the bad glue. I think this is the good glue over here. Um, and you can earn it for free at the moment with a 90, well, here in Australia with a $90 order. Um, but yeah, it's one of the free items. So it's even better when it's for free. Okay. And there's only four days left of celebration, everyone. So if there are wish list things on your wish list of the free items of celebration, you need to place an order right now. And one of the specials, I want to show you one of the specials that I have for ordering. Um, I'll finish this card and then I'll show you the special. Because I have a special for anyone that is ordering... Um, the minimum order to earn a free item with celebration. So for here in Australia, it is um, a fifty. Uh, sorry, a ninety dollar order. If you order a ninety dollar order through my online store from now until the end of March, so you've got four days, I will give you a free kit for our Timeless Tulips online class. So Rose Ward and myself, uh, we did a video showing our free online class. So we offered an online class class for free, but we're actually packing the kits and sending the kits out to you for free if you place a minimum order to earn a free item. So if you live in the US, you can contact Rose, who is Stamper's Delight. Um, you can contact Rose and she will um, get a kit done up for you if you place an order through her online store. If you live in Australia and you place an order through my online store, I'm just going to show you the cards. Hopefully I've left that long enough that I can tie that. Maybe I made it hard for myself. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, am I going to be able to do it? The joy of live videos. Okay, I can do it. So that's all right. So I'm just going to do a cute little knot like that. Now I find with male themed cards, knots tend to look a lot better than bows. I think bows are a bit girly for, for males. Um, so I tend to put knots on instead. I'm just going to bring in the cards that we did in our Timeless Tulip. So that you will get a kit to make one of each of these cards. So this was Rose's design. So she designed this one here. And it's a gorgeous card. Has a, And there's a video. It's on our YouTube. It's on my YouTube channel. It's on her YouTube channel. Um, this was the other one that she designed. Was like a um, Z Fold card, which is absolutely gorgeous. This one, um, this one was one of mine. So this one here, and it's the layering um, technique. So, and everything is cut ready to go. If you already have this bundle, we won't cut the tulips out. If you don't have the bundle, then we will cut the tulips out. But you need to tell us when you place your order. And this was the second one that I did. So it's an easel card. It's very hard to show you in um, the camera here. But yeah, a gorgeous easel card that folds flat. Um, and it's got lots and lots of room up here to write your sentiment and things. Um, but yeah, a super cute card. So if you place an order with us um, in the next four days, we will cut one of these kits and send it out to you. And it has to be an order of um, here in Australia, $90 or more. And I think in the US it is um, $50. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's $50 is a qualifying order. So, and you can get the kit for free. Um, and they are beautiful cards. They are stunning cards. I am i don't mean to boast, but that is what our online classes are all about. Um, they're about giving you our best work that we do. Um, and we put a lot of time and effort into designing our cards for our classes. 
And I just want to let you in on a little bit of a secret of what our next online class is going to be. So I'm just going to do a quick insert um, for this card. Another sensational year of you. Um, what else did we have? I think I'm just going to say happy birthday on the insert. So we'll grab that. And bear with me again. I have to stick my sticker on again. Happy birthday. Um, so... Uh, the surprise that I was going to tell you is our next month's online class, which we're designing right now, is going to be the Ornate Garden Suite. So I hope I'm supposed to be telling you. I hope Rose doesn't go mad on me for actually telling. Oh, no, don't do that. No. Ah, lucky I survived. Um, ah, now I'm not. I'm in a slight state of panic. <laughs> Ah, what can I do that way? I'll do it that way. Okay, so this is what happens when you muck it up. <laughs> oh dear. You improvise and you put it on there anyway. Look at that. I survived. I did it. <laughs> oh dear. That's what happens when you're talking, when you should be concentrating. All right, so um, I'm correct on the US price. Yes, okay. So, as I said, so for every $50 order, like a $50 online order with Rose, she will send you the kit. With a $90 on the online order, I will send you the kit here in Australia. But the exciting news is our next month's online class is going to be the Ornate Garden Suite. So, we're actually going to do an awesome special with the Ornate Garden Suite. I'm going to use one bundle. Rose is going to use the other. Um, if you order the whole suite, we will send you the kits for both classes. If you order both bundles and the extra items that we have in the online class, we will send you both bundles as well, or you can order one or the other. So it's going to be a super, super awesome, I am so excited about our next month's online class. So if you live in the US, you can purchase through Rose. If you live here in Australia, you can purchase through me. So. Rose's class that she designed, she will do the video and everything, but you will purchase the products through me and get Rose's video and vice versa. If you want to order the class that I've designed through Rose, you order the products off Rose and, um, and she will send you the kit. No problem whatsoever. All right, so I'm going to use this herringbone thing again or whatever we want to call it. I'm going to stamp off. I'm using Smoky Slate again. And I'm just going to create a little bit of a pattern over our sentiment there. So stamp off and there. And I think, um, no, that will do. I think I'll just do that. All right. So that can be the insert of my card. All right. So I'm going to glue that to the inside of my card. And I think I might actually just pop a little bit of bling on. I find that with mail cards, it's not bad to pop a little bit of bling on. It's um, just as long as you don't go over the top. And I tend to keep the bling to things like rhinestones. I don't, I don't put pearls or anything on a mail card, but rhinestones look really, really good. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab my take a pick tool. And I'm just going to pop some rhinestones around to um, make that super, super cute. So do you think that um, that is a great stamp for the males in your family? I'm going to bring back in all of the gorgeous cards that we made today. Clean up my desk a bit. So we've done this one here, the gorgeous um, male themed card. We've done the beautiful butterflies using the duet punch that you can get the duet punch for free um, with a $180 order. And the gorgeous, um, beautiful um, uh, rise and shine, it's called. So that's a gorgeous stamp set as well. And that's a double item as well. And the beauty is if you order through me, um, if you live in Australia and you order through me, you will get that tulip kit for free so um, if you do a qualifying order to get the um, 
the celebration items. So now I'm just gonna flip you back forward and I'm just going to quickly have a chat and say thank you very much for spending time on your Saturday morning with me or your Friday night with me if you're overseas and you're in the US. Thank you very much, I'm a bit crooked there. Thank you very much for spending a bit of time with me and um, taking time out of your day. Please, everybody, with everything that's going on in the world, stay safe. Use your crafting as a saviour because I know that my crafting is um, is definitely keeping me sane at the moment. If, As I said, if this is the first time that you have been watching, please... Actually, hang on. I need to pick a winner. Don't leave, everyone. I need to pick a winner. Um, um, okay, so I need to pick a winner. Tell me who wants to win a prize. And if you live in Australia, tell me that you want to win a prize. If you live overseas, I've got one of these stamp sets, the Rise, not the Rise and Shine. Oh, do I have it? Let me see. What have I got to give away? Ah. And I had, oh, I had one of those. My, there. Who would like to win? the well-dressed stamp set, okay? Who would like to win that? Tell me, you need to be in Australia, so you need to type in Australia. You need to just type the state that you live in and um, say, prize me, please. Tell me the state. You need to tell me the state. Um, <laughs> um, where are we? Linda's in Victoria. Sharon's in Victoria. Sue, whereabouts are you from, Sue? I think you're from overseas. Cheryl, you would love to win a prize. Who else have we got? Type in prize and the state that you live in. Victoria. You know what, Sue? Congratulations. You are going to be the winner of the well-dressed stamp set. So, Sue, you need to email me on Bejeweled. It's spelt B E J E W E W L. E D zero one at gmail.com. Okay, now we need to pick a card. Who would like to win a card? And you can choose which card that I've got. So that one there was for Sue. I need to write on that one. Whoops, sorry, that's very close up. Um, okay, so Sue, so please Sue, email me with your address. So Sue Beasley. For the stamp set. Okay. Who would like to win a card? Okay. So let me see. Jeanette. Jeanette, where are you from? Jeanette Shorey. Tell me where you're from. Let me know where you're from. Are you from overseas? And, okay, so Jeanette, if you're still watching, um, I'm going to send you a stamp set. Uh, sorry, not a stamp set, a, a card. And um, I'm also Winan. I know that you wanted to get a card as well. So Jeanette Shorey, I want you to pick the card first of all. Do you want the butterflies? Do you want the best dress? Well dressed, sorry. Or do you want the let's hang out? Um, so Jeanette, tell me which card you want to win. Sorry, I'm I'm ah. Oh, let me see. You're from Canada. So which card would you like, Jeanette? And then um, who did I pick as the other one? Win Anne. So Jeanette, tell me which card you want. Tell me which card. So the Let's Hang Out, the Butterflies, or the Well Dressed. Let me know, Jeanette. Type into the comments. And then Win Anne. When Jeanette has typed hers in, I'll ask you which one you would like. Jeanette's from Canada. The well-dressed. Okay, Jeanette, that is yours. Winan, which card would you like? I've got the butterflies or the let's hang out. Which one would you like? Butterflies or let's hang out? Okay, so Jeanette. And Jeanette, same thing. You will need to email me. Jeanette. Shorey, well-dressed. Um, and Win Anne, you can tell me which card you would like. So the Let's Hang Out, the butterfly. Well done, Win Anne. Congratulations, you will get the butterfly. So everybody needs to email me at 
um, bejeweled01 at gmail.com. That is spelled B E J E W E W L E D 01 at gmail.com. Okay, and um, send me your address and I would be happy to pop those in the post. As I said, please be um, patient with me because um, I'm only going to the post office once a week. So um, I will um, hopefully get those out to you. If you're also watching the replay back on, I will actually pick a replay. Uh, sorry, I'll pick a winner out of the replay. So please type in um, watching replay and the, the town that you live in or the state, the country that you live in, and I would be happy to um, to pick a winner. I'll pick a stamp set winner and I will also pick a... Um, I will also pick a card winner for someone from overseas because I like all of my overseas people because you all support me so well. So congratulations to everybody. As I said, everything that I've used today can be purchased through my online store. Um, and don't forget, you can earn the Tulip kit for free as well. So you will find the links to my online store after this video uploads. You will find the links down in the show more box below. If you want to call me on my phone to order over the phone, I'm happy to place orders over the phone in person. My phone number is 0421725015. Um, let's hang out would be great. You know, so everyone, I'm, I'm glad you've hung out with me today. So thank you very much. And until next time, bye for now.